afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So this morning, Dad, Yanis, and I went to Brico and we managed to clear them out of the floor joists. I managed to get 41 of them and there's no more in stock, but 41 will be probably enough to do quite a big chunk of it. And in the meantime, they'll probably restock. If not, we can go elsewhere to get that exact size. So we unloaded them in the rain. We've also organized the refectory or the dining room where we've stored them just so it's nice and clean. And yeah, Phil's gonna pop in in a bit and do some more welding. And as soon as the welding's done, tomorrow we're going to be painting the steel beams just to protect them. And then from there on, we will be installing the floor joists, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to start doing that. So we better crack on. Welcome to the convent. Again. On a lovely, beautiful, <laughs> rainy, dark day. It is a bit, yeah. So we don't very often use that big light, but we have to today. Yep, otherwise I'll not be able to see what I'm doing. You won't be able to see a single thing. Um, so today we're gonna finish the welding, hopefully. Yes, yes we are. And then as soon as that's done, tomorrow we'll be painting. And I believe, from Monday, or maybe the weekend, I don't know if I'm working on the weekend or not, the floor joists are going in. Again, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. That is a, it's, it's never a problem, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> so I've been to Brico with Yanis and Dad this morning, and we've unloaded and we've got all of the floor joists. Total cost, about 1,500 euros. Um, yeah, just so people know what the price of timber is. They are 22s by 17 by four meters. Wood is not cheap in France. No, but it's necessary. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna let you crack on, mate. Thank you. And if you've got any issues, give us a shout. It's dark and scary. It's always dark and scary here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fire extinguisher behind that door. <laughs> Don't set the convent alight, okay? If I manage to set fire to a metal beam, I'm doing well. Okay, good man. <laughs> So I failed to mention earlier that tomorrow, Paddy the carpenter is coming to the convent and he is delivering, delivering, I can't even speak properly, um, either the main door for the convent or the back door. I'm not sure what he's done first or if he's actually, if he's just bringing the frame first or just the doors. I'm not even sure, but he's coming tomorrow and he's delivering something, but I know it's either one of them, if that makes any sense. So I'm excited about that. I'm not excited about paying for it, but nevertheless, I'm excited. It will also eliminate the huge gaps under each door, because if you remember, we exposed this beautiful granite floor because it was covered in about 10 centimeters of concrete. That's why the threshold is now lower. But as soon as those doors are fitted, we could do the ceiling, finish this section, Paddy's also making the doors for here and here. They should be ready soon as well. So it means we can finish this hallway, get it all done and nice. And I suppose we could use one of the other entrances to bring in material so we don't ruin the new doors or the work that we've done in this room.
Philip, you've been a very busy man. You've been up there for quite a few hours now. Yeah. And you've managed to do some of the gaps. I've, yeah, I've done all the, the big stuff. Yeah. So I'll leave the rest to you. Thanks, mate. I do have... Uh, oh, funny, I've got more things of yours to weld up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and my own stuff. But, um, I mean, it's... What, what people are sort of missing here, which I think from some of the comments, is that the welds aren't the structural. No. You know, it's the way it all sits together is structural. You could actually just put bolts and L brackets, but we're a bit... It's a bit overkill now. Yeah, yeah it's massive overkill, but I'd rather it was overkill because we've got the equipment and the skills to do it. Yeah. So it's all in one piece. Yeah. You could literally drop a bomb on it and it wouldn't move. I don't suggest you do it though. No, I don't have any bombs. <laughs> <laughs> not to test it anyway yeah but um, no it's uh yeah it's looking good mate i really appreciate your help so what i'm gonna do i i don't have any long sleeves today yeah unfortunately and i've got no jumper with me <laughs> i don't left anymore <laughs> there's a few holes in yours oh yeah um yeah so i'm gonna just finish that off tomorrow morning really yep. early and then um we're on to scraping off any rust and painting yeah and i wasn't originally going to paint it because this room rust only develops when it's damp and there's moisture present yeah i mean this convent's going to be heated once i get the heating installation put in for this exact room but just on the safe side for caution we might as well paint it anyway well you know the same could be said of why you just bolt it all together we just spent two days welding it together yeah. to do the job as well as you possibly can while it's there so not not painting it would be if the l brackets arrive before i start doing the flooring i'll put them in yeah. if they don't oh, yeah. I'll um, leave them out, but I honestly don't think it needs it. It doesn't. It's all self-supporting anyway, and it's a great structure. I look forward to seeing it painted. Yeah, same. We've got a nice anthracite paint for it, so nice. yeah, that'll be done tomorrow. So thanks a lot, mate. No worries. I'll, I'll see you later. I'll see you in a bit. If you need anything, don't forget to send us a message. <laughs> Will do. Apart from the digger, you can't use the digger. It's stuck in the convent garden. <laughs> So everyone's gone home now. It's been non-stop raining all day long, but at least it's nice and dry indoors. But I wanted to go and get some more materials today, but I don't want to risk getting everything wet, um, especially all of the timber that I've got to buy. And yeah, it's fine, it's fine. We're still on track, we're still on track. We're gonna get it done. As soon as the welding's finished and it's all painted, protected from the rust, I'm gonna start doing all of the flooring. And I'm really looking forward to that stage. Should be quite easy, hopefully. Um, and it shouldn't take too long either. Um, I'm gonna set like a goal every day, try and get as much done as possible. And yeah, it'll be a lot easier because Alex is back from Monday. Alex, the cameraman. And he's gonna make it a lot easier for me. So I can just crack on, not worry about the filming or the editing which is much better. And Alex is gonna be here for about a month, I think. So we'll get a lot done in that time. Um, so yeah, we've had a good clean up today. We've got most of the important things. So we're still on track. And thank you to Philip for helping me with some of the welds. Um, it's just so strong now, it's unbelievable. But I'm gonna finish it tomorrow and then it's all gonna be done. So there we go, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video today and I'll see you all tomorrow.